Let us lift up our hands. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. God wants to touch us. Lift up your hands and open your heart. God is ready to touch you and change your life. There are those people that the hand of God is going to touch right now or is touching right now. When the Spirit of God touches you, don't resist. This is the day of your breakthrough. This is the day of your answer. That door that you've been waiting for today is opened. That healing that you've been praying for and believing God for today is your portion. That job that you've been waiting for to answer your problems and your prayers, today is the day that you receive it. Lift up your hands and open your heart. The Spirit of God is touching you. Spirit of God, touch all those that you are restoring today. Everything that the enemy has stolen, restore in the mighty name of Jesus. All those you are touching, touch them, Lord, and restore them. Touch them, Lord, and restore them. That which the enemy has taken away from us, that which the enemy has taken away from your children, I pray in the name of Jesus, touch and restore them. Touch and restore them. Touch and restore them. Lift up your hands and open your heart. The hand of the Lord is touching you. Be ready for God. The hand of God is touching you. Today is the day of restoration. Is the day of answered prayers. God is restoring you. What you were meant to be, you are going to be from this moment. If you are meant to be a business person, you are going to be a business person. Those doors that are being shut of, of businesses, they are open right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those doors of business are open now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your no's are becoming your yes in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and open your heart. The Spirit of God is touching you. Spirit of God is restoring your health. That sickness that has been troubling you for a long time, today it's healed. Today it is healed. Today it is healed. That illness that has no cure, today it is cured. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. God is healing you. Allow Him to touch you. Allow Him to restore your health. Allow Him to restore your mental capacity. Some of you, you used to be intelligent and wise. And all of a sudden, you are forgetful. You have memory loss. Your memory is being restored in the name of Jesus. That hand over your education is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are being restored today. In the name of Jesus. You will go back to excelling academically in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be wise again. You will be intelligent again. You will be above your peers like you were born to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will do better than your peers like you've always done in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Lift up your hands and open your heart. Father, there are those who have been praying for jobs. Lord, only if I can get a job that will change my situation. Only if I can get a job that will answer my problems. You are getting that job in the name of Jesus. Whatever is standing in your way for you not to get that job, I remove it now in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hands. Whatever that has been stealing your job, in the name of Jesus, I command it to let you lose. I command you out of your way in the name of Jesus. 
out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. There are some of you in your generations that things that I have never been done. Certain doors have never been opened. Today you are being restored to cross over. In the name of Jesus, I command that door to be opened. Open in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. That door is being opened. You'll be the first in your family to go through that door. You'll be the first in the family to cross that line. If people are not getting married, you'll be the first one to get married. In the name of Jesus. If he, and nobody in your family has ever driven a better car, you'll be the first one to drive a better car in the name of Jesus. If nobody has ever stayed in a house they bought on their own, in the name of Jesus, you are going to be the first to buy that house. Lift up your hands. The Spirit of the Lord is touching you. Some of you, those doors are closed. Even when you send your CVs, they don't see it. Even when you go for your interviews, they don't recognize you. Some of you, you go for interviews and they say you've passed well. But they send you a letter of regret. Today, in the name of Jesus, that letter of regret, it's a letter of appointment. That email of regret is becoming a letter of appointment. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and open your heart. God is touching you. All those who are supposed to get new jobs, touch them in the name of Jesus. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Your new job is coming to you. They are calling you for your appointment. They are emailing you for your appointment. Touch in the name of Jesus. Touch in the name of Jesus. Those spirits that are standing in front of you for this hand of the Lord not to touch you. I command you to move out of your way. I command you to move out of your way. In Jesus' mighty name. All those who are supposed to get their jobs. Now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Wherever you are, touch in the name of Jesus. Touch in the name of Jesus. Your job is right in front of you. You are getting an email, you are getting a message, you are getting a phone call. For your new job in the name of Jesus. Get that job in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some of us, some of you, who've been applying for houses. They've been rejected and denied. You try over and over again, it's rejected and denied. You are applying for a car, it's being rejected and denied. Today, in the name of Jesus, it shall be approved. Today, in the name of Jesus, it is approved. Today, in the name of Jesus, it is approved. Lift up your hands. The power of God is touching you. God is restoring you. Restoring you for your job, for your house, for your breakthrough, for your business, for your healing. For whatever that you are believing God for, today he's restoring you. Don't resist the power of God. God is restoring you. In the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. There are some of you that you have pains in your body. You don't know how to explain where this pain exactly is. You have pains all over your body. Today you are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. That headache is healed. That back pain is healed. Those legs are healed. That heart is healed. That sharp pain in your chest is healed in the name of Jesus. It's 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 healed in the name of Jesus. 
Can you clap your hands and thank God for restoration over your life? Can you clap your hands or open your mouth and thank God for restoration? Thank God for restoration. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Are we still together? Are we still together? I want us to go and clap our hands and take back what belongs to us. Ask your neighbor and say, what belongs to you? As we are born, we are born with everything we need inside of us. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Are you still here? When we are born, we are born with what? With everything inside of us. Now I want us to go and clap our hands and take back that which God is restoring. That which was stolen, clap your hands and take and take back what was stolen from you. God has restored you. God has restored you. Take back your health. Take back your house. Take back your desire. Take back your job. Take back your family, your peace. Clap your hands and take back. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we still together?